Ah, the internet, such a wonderful tool for so many things in our everyday lives. It's such a necessity now that I often wonder how we ever did without it. One thing that's great about it is the online world and how easy it is to find other people to discuss the latest movies, TV shows and video games within hours of them being released. This however can have the unfortunate side effect of discussions between individuals that have already consumed the piece of media in question will reveal certain key plot points to someone who has not yet had the chance to experience this piece of media for themselves. This has become commonly known as a spoiler, and they are not a nice thing to be subjected to. Believe me, I've experienced it myself. So before I really get into how to avoid them, let me first say that there is a basic level of courtesy people need to apply. Don't put spoilers in the titles of articles or videos. Don't talk freely about things from movies still in theatres, TV show episodes that aired less than a week ago, or video games that came out less than a month ago. But most of all, if you are in direct conversation with someone, check with them before saying anything. This video is about avoiding spoilers, because I really feel those people are the ones that need to start being proactive with stuff like this. Like it's starting to get a bit ridiculous, the kind of things some people consider spoilers. I've even come across people that have accused me of spoiling a movie before it was even out. But anyway, here are a few tips to avoiding spoilers. Number one, be careful what you click on. Now admittedly, there isn't much you can do when a key plot point to a Doctor Who episode is in the title of an article posted just hours after it aired. Seriously, that's just not cool. But if the title of a video or article has the name of a movie, video game, TV show, or whatever that you don't want to be spoiled for, just assume it has spoilers in it. I've heard it all before about how they should have warned us about spoilers, or other videos like this don't have spoilers. I'm sorry, these are not legitimate excuses. If the name of the thing there are spoilers for is in the title, you only have yourself to blame for clicking on it. Heck, even Cinema Sins, who give a spoiler warning at the start of every Sins video, also put duh right after it, because it is really just common sense that a video like that will have spoilers. 2. The more you want to avoid being spoiled, the more you should avoid places where spoilers are. Again, this is mostly just about being proactive instead of just sitting there and demanding others keep quiet. Don't go on social media minutes after a new episode of your favourite TV show is aired. Don't visit forums or chat rooms about the latest video game for at least a couple of weeks. And if you are one of those people that doesn't want to know anything at all and just go in completely blind, how about just staying off the internet altogether until after you've seen or read the thing in question? 3. Don't expect others to pander to your needs. While it is true that certain people may put spoiler alert at the start of videos or articles, and others may write reviews in a way that keeps it spoiler free, you shouldn't expect people to do this. People with nut allergies don't just assume all foods that don't say contains nuts is safe for them to eat. They check the list of ingredients. Same with spoilers. Unless it says spoiler free, just assume it isn't. Many reviews of certain things will also be a lot harder to write if they are not allowed to have spoilers, and may also not be able to explore everything or go into as much detail. So even reviews of things that are new are likely to have spoilers in them, simply because it will make for a better, more in-depth review. And above all, anything about something that is more than six months old at the time it was posted, and therefore will already have been consumed by a large number of people, you should really just assume have spoilers because the thing they are talking about isn't even new. So there you go, just a few basic tips to avoid spoilers. Some people watching this might be thinking this all seems like common sense, and believe me, I totally agree. But based on my experiences over the last few years, it doesn't seem like a lot of people on the internet see it that way. 